year. Now, Uber is gearing up for the year's biggest stock market debut on Friday. Analysts have pegged the ride-hailing company's market value at nearly $85 billion, setting a benchmark for its rivals around the world, including possibly here in Asia. Tencent and Alibaba-backed Didi Chusing dominate the Chinese market. That's after Uber sold its business there to Didi in 2016. After sustaining heavy losses, the U.S. platform withdrew from Southeast Asia last year, selling out to Grab. It now holds a 27.5% stake in the Singapore-based firm. And Grab itself faces stiff competition in its home country, as well as Malaysia, the Philippines, and Vietnam, from Indonesia-based Gojek. I asked Magnus Grimland, chief executive of Antler, which helps develop startups, whether Uber's IPO could set a benchmark for Asian ride-hailing companies. Yeah, I definitely think so. Uh, I mean, it's extremely exciting, and I think the, the, the IPO will go really well. I think the interesting thing with, with Grab and Gojek, if anything, they have even more uh, potential since they're turning into super apps, uh, doing much more than what Uber is doing, uh, you know, adding payment, uh, adding a lot of other services, becoming a platform also for other technology companies. Uh, so if anything, I think, you know, the potential is even higher. Yeah, but these companies, you know, including Uber, they, it takes them a very long time to turn a profit. In the interim, they're burning cash. How do they become so appealing to shareholders and how realistic are these valuations? I mean, what shareholders believe is that at some point in time, you will have built a natural moat, meaning that, you know, the data you have availability the your data you have access to, uh, you know, the, the ability to add more services will ensure that it will be harder for competitors to get in there and offer a similar type of service. Now, I'd, I'd say the jury is still out there. Like, I do you believe that they are able to create this mode at some point in time in the future, in which case, uh, you know, the value will continue to grow, similarly to Google and other big technology firms. But they haven't proven that they can do that yet. So, you know, they might also end up in a situation where uh, it's, it'll always be easy for competitors to, to enter, in which case they will never turn a profit. So you're saying that companies like Uber could never turn a profit, Grab, Gojek, those sorts of firms? Uh, with, with Grab and Gojek, it's a little bit different because they are turning into super apps, which is a little bit similar to kind of the Tencent journey in uh, China, meaning that they're adding a ton of new services. Uh, also, if you look at Southeast Asia, right, you know, Grab for many are becoming the first payment service, the same for Gojek. Uh, really, they are entering there uh, and getting online bank accounts there before they even have a bank account with a traditional bank. So, you, you know, I'd say the journals will be a little bit different. And I think that, if anything, they're in a better position than Uber is.